Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, The Ashton Show. We're going to talk about the markets and we're going to talk about prepping today and specifically about knives. Ethereum is up to 4,300 and I'm checking this at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. It's expected by early next year that Ethereum will have an ETF on the stock market. Bitcoin had one released earlier in the week, maybe last week, everything is a blur, but the price bumped up. I would expect that Ethereum's price would bump up as well. Crypto price prediction. Okay, here we go. Ethereum could outpace Bitcoin. Ooh -wee and surge to over $50,000. That's a lot of, that's a, that's a big price point. That's just $10,000 less than what Bitcoin is. Bitcoin is at 61,000. It's been a bit sluggish. Let's continue on with the article. I want to share this paragraph. A panel of 50 Bitcoin, Ethereum, and cryptocurrency experts have predicted that Ethereum could top $5,000 by the end of 2021. That's reasonable. And rocket to over 50,000 by 2030. About eight years. If you're invested, your mind might just be ready to pop because you want to hit that 50,000 price point. $50,000 over the course of eight years, Ethereum growing from 5,000 to 50,000 over the course of eight years is really good because it allows you and me time to be able to continue to invest into Ethereum at a very affordable price. The S&P 500 is down 10 points. Gold is down $27. Silver is back down to $23.91. Get involved with investing and get involved with prepping. Now, I've got this knife here and I bought this years ago. And when it comes to prepping, you need a purpose for the items that you purchase generally. Then I would say most preppers, they want to purchase items that have a purpose. With knives, you've got pocket knives, you got a knife like this, which might be more of a self-defense knife. You've got hunting knives. For me, actually does not have a purpose. I wouldn't even use this as a self-defense knife in my home, even though I am forced to keep it at home. It cannot leave my property. I'm allowed to have a pocket knife, I'm allowed to have a hunting knife. The hunting knife in my state, I have to keep it in the trunk of my car uh, when not in use. I can only have it on my person if I'm engaged in a hunt. In my state, you can own any type of knife just about, but most of them have to remain on the property. I carry a pocket knife, but that's just for box cutting. So I, I wonder if people out there in the community, if they have knives like these, are they, what, what would you purpose this knife for? This one has a, a sheath, it has a clip to carry, it's got this latch to kind of like a safety to make sure no one can just pull it out. It's pretty good, it's just a button, two buttons here. It is a... Smith and Wesson, Smith and Wesson, HR, HRT, bought this years ago. It's got a good center. The blade isn't dull. It needs to be sharpened. The point is really sharp. It is not double bladed, which is, I believe, highly illegal in the state that I live in. So for you extreme preppers, I, I know you guys got knives and you got knives that have a purpose and serve a purpose. A really good channel that I watch and I learn a lot from is Nothing Fancy. Big, 
Big, big fan of that channel. I'll leave a link to him. He talks about knives a lot. I don't really catch his knife videos. I just may not have much of an interest. But he talks about all types of guns. And I'm always catching those. And he's he's reviews them. He does a tabletop review of many types of guns. And he has swayed me into certain purchases. Guys, 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 guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Get involved with investing. If you enjoy the prepping lifestyle, I recommend getting started with just water and food because that's the most basic thing that you're really going to need in the case of an emergency, even if it's an unexpected natural disaster.